Hello everybody and welcome back to Jake's RC Stuff and today we are back with the mini drag trying to sort out control rods. Control rods for me, um, if they aren't like pre-made in the packet or just a simple like Z bend or, or ball link to a, to a, what I call a swivel, um, which are these type of things. Um, I just hate them with a the passion. Um, the worst of course is control loops, um, but um, you're not really going to see that a lot on FPV plans. Um, but I've come up with a solution which we'll go into in a little bit. Um, between me and my dad is what we've come up with is something that we can do. Um, but what we need to do first is we need to actually get the control rods attached. Now the ones that came with my kit, because I got the um, control rod kit added extra, because you need to do that on these mini tracks, which is a bit crap to be honest with you for the price you pay. Um, they were 3D printed. And the problem was, is that A, they looked awful, and B, um, the if I was to try and drill them out to fit the screws I was going to use, um, it would probably split between the layers. So what I've actually bought is the, um, what you're actually meant to buy, what's recommended to buy is the Dubro control holes. That is the ones. Um, I got these from Nexus. I bought two packs of them and postage came to bang on for £5, pound, I believe. Um... But considering I had no money at the time, I think 55p. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get like a, like a, like a SKU number for you if you want to order them from Nexus, because they're not easiest. They're just called uh, Dubro HD Nylon Control Horns 1 and 1 8th, um, DUB105. Um, D DUB105 or, or, or whatever should also work on other stores. But Nexus, not a bad price, as I say. Um, they were... Sorry. I'm having trouble understanding right now. That's great. Please try a little later. Couldn't give a single fuck. Uh, £1.50 each, and then I paid... Oh, £1.50, no, £1.50 then plus tax. Uh, basically, I paid a fiver, including raw metal shipping. Um, so what we're doing is we're getting these connected now. I've dropped that on the floor, which is a great start to proceedings. Um, I'm going to have to install them. So they're left and right-handed, so they don't come out the middle, like you may see on other control horns. So we're going to put them that way, because if we used the other one, which goes the other way, you end up with the screw hole very close to the edge, or even in the edge. Normally for a plane, what you want to do is you want to get it bang, like, perpendicular to the edge, with the holes over the uh, joint. Can't do that on this, because the servo is at a completely different angle to the trailing edge of the wing. So... What we're going to have to do is put it at a weird angle, kind of like this. Um, so we just need to drill two holes. We have the backing plate, which goes on the back. That is this. And it also comes with the screws. So I'm going to do that on each one. Um, all I've done to get the lineup is I put a ruler, a metal ruler against this control horn. Let it go down here and draw a line just so that it can rub. And we can also sort of rub it out if needed well might need some like alcohol it but never mind we can do it so um i'm gonna get those holes drilled and then we'll get them connected and we'll see where we go from there right okay so i've done one wing I'm very happy with it there it is um so i'll show you what i did on second so obviously we've got our line still as i say all i did was grab a ruler which has disappeared there it is push it against there Hmm. Maybe, maybe I have done it wrong. Hmm. Hold on a second. I'm not sure I have done this right. I know one of them was a bit of a pain to do. Hmm. Let me just. Uh... Draw another line. Hmm. Okay. This is beginning to be a pain in the arse. I can do it. I mean, that does not look right. That angle is not right. Um. That looks more like it. It also looks very close to the other line that I did. Okay, so we're going. So oh yeah, rub away that line that I actually need. We're not rub away the one that. 
I think I spoke about alcohol will remove that. Anyway, so all we do is we get this. Yeah, that looks a lot better. We got that lined up on the line. And we're going to get the hole sort of over the split between elevon and wing, like so. We then get our 2mm drill in our hand drill. And just do that to leave a mark. Um, me and this drill are quite acquainted, um, both the drill driver and the drill bit, because uh, I once stuck a 2mm drill through my thumb, trying to drill um, at the end of the super blue. Um, for those who are in the UK, if you remember a few years ago, 2015, I think. No, I think it would be slightly before that. Um, when it was voting night for um, Nick Clegg and the Liberal Democrats wanted to change how... Um, it was a referendum on changing how voting worked. Um, so that you can look that up if you want to, or, or people might remember. Um, and basically when my parents came back from voting for that, they came through the door. Well, it obviously... It worked for my thumb. I start screaming. I'm having to hold. He went through this thumb. I'm having to hold the drill bit like this. Oh, the drill's like there. So I'm more stabbed myself. So I went through the super glue, took it out, um, and then as I went to sort of go through again, it hit the top of the ball, slipped, and went through my thumb. It was more like a punch than a drill. Um, it went all the way through. It was poking out the other side a little bit, um, or at least pushing on the skin. I go towards the front room, or the living room, or whatever you want to call it, and the windows were down. And there was discussion about them walking, because it was a very nice night, I think it was in Mayish town. Um, as I start going towards the back door to try and seek help from somebody else, because the back door was open, the front door was locked, because it always is. Um, they came through the door, and just got to see me with this, <laughs> walk through the door. Um, and yeah, um, Dad tried to take this bit off, to try and leave the weight off, and, 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 and couldn't. I think eventually we did manage to, in a lot of pain. Uh, of course, the drill bit then got super glued into my hand. Um, went to the hospital. Um, they eventually, with like ice packed around my fingers, eventually they took it out. Um, and as they took it out, my mum fainted. And um, we could have gone at like 12, uh, about midnight, um, if it was just me. But my mother got released about 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, so that's a brief story on the drill through my thumb. What we're going to do next, try to avoid that happening again. I'm just going to push that through. That's actually gone through quite nicely. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to try and line up this line again. I've a little bit too far over, I think, on this one. Never mind. I'm going to mark again. Spin it out of the way. Drill a hole. Well, I had to drill on this side. Let's put it softer wood. And then we'll put the second screw through like that. And then just clear off a bit of the dust. Anybody? Dust. That's a, another phrase for the UK people. Little Britain. I was going to dump it. Um. So what I'm doing now is putting the back piece on. First screw in a little bit, then the second. Look back to the first one. Tighten it down most of the way. Second one again, all the way down. Kind of seesawing it a little bit. into the wood a little bit more uh, but yeah that's that done um so now that those are done we can discuss what we're going to do about the control holes so let me just adjust the camera the system that came with it if you've not seen it it was just a nightmare um they wanted you to like solder carbon rod, uh, 
solder carbon right here that will but do some soldering and some other crap and what we decided to do we have a device from my father is we've got these these two are the ones that originally came with the kit these are two that i found i did have two gray ones but i broke one of the gray ones um here's the evidence of the broken gray one so we've got two black a different black and a gray um and what we're going to do is we're going to have that on the edge of some carbon tube or carbon rod which i've got here uh, and we can just glue them on with epoxy um i'm gonna just sand the end try and get a fine on the inside just rough it up epoxy it together roughly the right size um i've screwed these all the way in so the idea is if i if i make my margin so the carbon rod is slightly smaller when i glue it together we can extend these out um and yeah he'll have ball links on either side quite a professional job other than the fact that that's the wrong colour. Um, so we will we'll start working on that. If this is a bit too flexible when we've done that, the carbon rod that came with the plane for its control rods, if I can find a piece of it somewhere. Here we are. Um, will actually quite nicely fit over the ends of these. So if I need it even stronger, because these are slightly too long, I can glue basically metal thing to metal thing so i realize i'm not really body stuff at stuff metal to metal thing along that tube and make it even stronger um but yeah we're gonna do like a like a double connection so i'm gonna put my macbook away because i'm that good epoxy and uh we'll, we'll, let's see, we'll do some epoxy um i think five minute stuff will be plenty for this so i'll get that on and we'll get the sort of rough originals made up and we'll go from there. So see you shortly. Right, okay, so I am... Um, <coughs> let me open this because, Jesus, that heat has been using a while. So I've got the connection rods on the other end, on both wings. I've also done our carbon fiber rod. Here's an example of roughly how it's going to look when it's finished. And the minute I have the epoxy in front of like an underfloor fan unit thingy um, to warm it up a little bit, we're gonna mix it up on this. Um, and we're then going to use it to um, put the rods together. Uh, I'm trying to debate whether I should, um, in fact I am going to take them all off. I think that will make a lot more sense. Um, so I'll do that and then by then hopefully the epoxy will be nice wool. So I'll see you all very shortly. Okie dokie, so here are our finished carbon rods. They are setting, because it's 5 minute epoxy they're already kind of tacked, I'm going to leave them for a while to make sure they fully dry off and um, then we'll be ready to fit them. Um, so I'm going to do now, I'm going to collect all the screws together because I kind of forgot to take them off the plane um, so they got kind of scattered everywhere. Put them back where they should be so we know where we are and then that's going to be it for this uh, video on the mini track. But that's the control rods and horns done, just bought everything together um, which I'll do off camera. Um, and then from there we get on to sort of the semi-exciting bit of um, trying to figure out where we're going to put all the stuff in the fuse i've had a little bit of a think about it and i think i have a few ideas so um yeah i'll get all this crap tidied up and i'll see you next one if you enjoyed the lab one remember to subscribe if you want to see some more of this if you have any comments or feedback feel free to leave it below um i am still out of a job as i'm recording this if you have some spare change sitting in a paypal balance somewhere or anything like that um, there should be a PayPal link below the video. Um, or if you want to support me slightly indirectly, it's slightly in a, in a less good of a way, um, you can also try Honey. And uh, now we'll get some uh, factories I can use on Amazon, which, uh, which isn't the most useful thing at the minute, um, but it's better than nothing. And I could possibly trade it with people. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. So the next one, bye bye. Oh, I used that to send down the carbon rods. I think I might have like carbon dust on my belly because I've got like, like, like um, what do you call it? Lumps and bumps and stuff. Uh, so I might go and give that a quick wash in a minute. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.